the heavy ball of a demolition machine is storing energy when it is held at an elevated position. This stored energy of position is referred to as potential energy. Similarly, a drawn bow is able to store energy as the result of its position. When assuming its usual position, that is when not drawn, there is no energy stored in the bow. Yet, when its position is altered from its usual equilibrium position, the bow is able to store energy by the virtue of its position. This stored energy of position is referred to as potential energy. Work done by pulling this toy car changes its kinetic energy. Positive work increases it and negative work decreases it. Now, we will look at the work done by the individual forces. Suppose a bottle filled with water is moved so slowly that the change in kinetic energy is negligible. No change in kinetic energy, so the total work done by all the forces is approximately zero. My hand is pushing the bottle up, gravity pulling it down. My hand pushes the bottle up, it moves up, I do positive work. Gravity pulls the bottle down, it moves up, gravity does negative work. The two work expressions add to zero. Where did the work go when I did the work against gravity? Note that I can get it back if I attach another bottle with slightly less water. This gives us the idea of stored energy or potential energy. This raised mass has the potential to do work for me. I have stored work in the gravitational interaction between this mass and the earth. How much work do I store in this gravitational interaction? If I move the bottle slowly, acceleration is negligible. So the force that I apply equals the weight of the object. Over a distance s, I do work w equals f times s cos theta. But from this triangle, s cos theta is the change in the height till the h. So I do work for a distance of delta h. Going up, I do work in g delta h against the gravitational interaction between the mass n and the earth. I'll call this work that I have done against gravity the change in the potential energy. Then we can write an important equation. Gravitational potential energy equals m into g into h. Gravitational potential energy is the energy stored in an object as the result of its vertical position or height. The energy is stored as the result of gravitational attraction of the earth for the object. The gravitational potential energy of the massive ball of a demolition machine is dependent on two variables, the mass of the ball and the height to which it is raised. There is a direct relation between gravitational potential energy and the mass of the object. More massive objects have greater gravitational potential energy. There is also a direct relation between gravitational potential energy and the height of the object. The higher the object is elevated, the greater its gravitational potential energy. To determine the gravitational potential energy of an object, a zero height position must first be arbitrarily assigned. Typically, the ground is considered to be a position of zero height. But this is merely an arbitrarily assigned position that most people agree upon. Since many of our labs are done on tabletops, it is often customary to assign the tabletop to be the zero height position. Again, this is merely arbitrary. If the tabletop is the zero position, then the potential energy of an object is based upon its height relative to the tabletop. For example, a pendulum bob swinging to and fro above the tabletop has a potential energy that can be measured based on its height above the tabletop. By measuring the mass of the bob, and the height of the bob above the tabletop, the potential energy of the bob can be determined. Since the gravitational potential energy of an object is directly proportional to its height above the zero position, a doubling of the height will result in a doubling of the gravitational potential energy. A tripling of the height will result in a tripling of the gravitational potential energy. Another form of potential energy is the elastic potential energy. It is the form of potential energy stored in elastic materials as a result of their stretching or compressing. Elastic potential energy can be stored in rubber bands, springs, an arrow drawn into a bow, etc. 
The amount of elastic potential energy stored in such a device is related to the amount of stretch of the device. The more the stretch, the more the stored energy. If a spring is not compressed or stretched, then there is no elastic potential energy stored in it. The spring is said to be at its equilibrium position. The equilibrium position is the position that the spring naturally assumes when there is no force applied to it. In terms of potential energy, the equilibrium position could be called the zero potential energy position. To summarize, potential energy is the energy that is stored in an object due to its position related to some zero position. An object possesses gravitational potential energy if it is positioned at a height above or below the zero height. An object possesses elastic potential energy if it is at a position on an elastic medium other than the equilibrium position.